pile, you herbalists and naturalists and homeopaths and just regular small folk. Um, I'm going to be going through a few of my favorite products, oh, pretty much everything I have of April's for the um, shop update that's coming up on August 7th. So this, um, so I'm going to keep this introduction really small. Um, most of the stuff I've I've been following her for years. Um, me and a friend are, are we're all about it, and uh, hopefully we can go apprentice for April. She is of the woods, Wildwood Apothecary. These are some of my products I want to talk about before the shop update. This is not sponsored. I am an herbalist. I did take some classes just to get caught up. You know, I wanted to know what herbal actions were, like adaptogens, diaphoretics, that kind of thing. And I wanted to know, I just wanted to know a little more bookish stuff that I think she actually teaches in her book, which I do not have, but I think I will be getting this next round. All right, so some of the stuff we're gonna talk about, and this, some of this is in the, the new and the old packaging, um, is the Cracked Hand Tallow Cream. This is in the older, but newer, um, and she's gonna have more of the jars for the holidays, and I think that's gonna be really cool. The Tallow Black Drawing Salve, so important to my life. I'm sorry about the air conditioning. It's the hottest day of this month. Um, it's been the hottest day in a while. Now here's some, taking you back to some old labeling. This is the Extra Strength Hemp uh, Pain Salve that has cayenne in it. I'll talk about more when I get to it. And really taking you back, here's the, the Honeyed Tallowed Pine Salve. Wildwood Apothecary. This is all uh, old packaging. I will never get rid of those two because of the nostalgia. Something new here is the Bare Skin Itch Cream, Body Cream. And I just reached for this. This is the Bare Skin Itch Serum. I freaking live on it. Uh, uh, we'll get to it. Uh, the Wild Rose Coffee Bean Spritz. I have the serum, I have the oil, but I hid it from myself in one of my closets because I didn't want it to break. So I, was, I had it where I was sleeping. I was like, I just want to get this somewhere where I won't smack it and break it, and I can't find it. I, I do that a lot. It's going <laughs> to take a long time to find that, especially in my closet. Here's another cream that I love, the Tar Yaro Body Cream. And this new, the new packaging, I actually prefer this to... I actually prefer this to this. I think... I think I get more because it's a thinner formulation and this is a thicker formulation these I get more love out of this just to say now a couple older cream bottles that I just absolutely I have to get more of this this is the deep slumber magnesium lotion I didn't know I had a magnesium deficiency until I felt that on my body one night I'll explain that the sands and pines drying sub this is very important for guys we don't a lot of guys don't you know engage we're out there she we're, we're all watching her but um, that's good for your down mid airs if you're a guy or a girl um, I have the bare lips skin balm and I have the old cardboard packaging of that. There's still a little in there. I can push it out later when and show you. Absolute must-haves. This one I haven't used yet. It's the St. John's Lip Balm. I get a lot of um, breakouts around my face because I use products like this by my lips. So it's always in these pockets I get breakouts. But Sometimes I get, an, I do get the average, you know, walkabout cold sore. And when that happens, I'm going to be using the St. James lip balm. But she said not to use it and then read, because you could read. So I'm just going to put it on my finger, a clean finger and do it. Or I can get a clean brush or something like that. It's no, no issue. Um, the Wild Burdock Face Serum, which is great for cooling off. I might, I might use it after this. Uh... The Wild Elder Rose Serum, great, great moisturizing serum here. Um, just to talk about a couple tinctures, because I have so many tinctures. I didn't want to get them out because I already dropped these two, but I have the Hip Flower Tincture. Now, one of these that I have is the CBG, and the other, I have some different formulations. And then I have my California Poppy, um, I have my Catnap, and I have my Mullen. So you can tell I'm a Nervine fan. All right. So let's get started. So let's get a little more in depth. So uh, the Cracked Hand Cream, you can see I've used quite a lot. Does what she says it does, wonderful. I don't know 
if that's going to be, I saw the list of the creams in the update. I would think it's in there, but I'm, I'm not for sure. Oh, it's kind of, kind of a drop for the, oh, another thing I want to do is I'm going to share some of my own products. I don't sell them, but that I, that April has helped me make. Let me unplug something right here. Okay. Um, California Poppy Tincture. I prefer hers. I have a friend. No, I had. I bought the uh, Mountain Rose. Wonderful company. They're California Poppy Tincture, but you, they're using Everclear. They're using grain alcohol, and I think that April's totally correct. That that really just is so explosive on these Plant Allies. I like the the longer slower method i think you get more from it people think they get more from the everclear you know it's it's i mean we're all different that way all right so the, the this is something i really wanted to show you the honeyed tallowed pine sap i really mm, i've hit pan i've hit pan and i probably need to get a new one but this after a sh after my shower and shave i shave in the shower most of the time um if i don't sometimes i just use this on spots that I mean, how can you go wrong? This is the all-purpose salve, basically. It goes and does pretty much everything. And I'm going to pair that with the, um, Tar Yarrow, uh, body cream. Now, this is, this is great for my cystic acne. I, 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 I mean, I can do before and afters on this like crazy, but what I'm really going to do is I have this gnarly cut right there, and I am going to just, just, it's all purpose, so I'm just going to use a little bit, I'm just going to kind of like saturate that buddy, because we all know what yarrow can do. Now, it's mostly for acne, it's mostly for cystic acne, but um, if I had yarrow tincture, I would probably just put Yarrow Tincture on there. I love the sting. Um, the Sands and Pines Drying Sap. Now, there's this product called Lumi I haven't tried because this product, and you can see I still have a lot of it left, is great for, um, <laughs> it's great for helping dry up down me there and deodorizing that area. Uh, Min, if you haven't tried her uh, Sands and Pines Drying, drying lotion yeah you need to give it a try the bare skin itch serum is very important I I use this throughout the day I get a lot of itching on the inside of my arms side and right here oh, excuse me normally what I do for that is if I'm getting out of the shower I will always have that itchiness here and the itchiness here I just pull out this bare skin itch serum I'm just going to use a little bit right now. You know, I'm just going to... No, no, no. So I have some. And I'm just going to... Oh, the instantaneous effect of this, I'm, I'm not sure what herbs... I mean, I'm not breaking that. Um, research that, look that up on her site. Um, I, I would think it has... Um, it, it lists what it has in here, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to bore you with that, but it's like an instantaneous thing. I've been using this um, extra strength uh, pain, hip pain salve on my right knee. It's really, my right knee's really been bothering me, and they're, for whatever reason, I won't go there, but so until things I can figure out, go into a lot of stuff with that. The Deep Slumber Magnesium Lotion, I'm very much almost out, you can see. Um, I was having really bad stomach cramps, and, and, back of the leg cramps, calf cramps, not calf, yeah, uh, lower the belly of the muscle cramps, and one night I just couldn't take it, and I had this, and I had used it a couple times after the shower, and tingliness up here, and here, so I just slathered that on my stomach, and, I, and almost within 15 seconds, the, the, the seizing, and the cramping, and everything just stopped on my stomach, then I used it on my legs, and so that I will always have some of this, I, I bought another cream from another, from like Amazon that has magnesium in it. Um, I've made my own magnesium flake creams. I actually made some creams. I've had, I've done two batches where it worked and two, ba and two batches where the creams just didn't want to form. 
and um, I added uh, the flakes, the magnesium flakes to that, and that was helpful too, so it's very important in my life. This is so important to my life. The um, Bear Lip Balm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show, I actually can get some of this out still from the old container, which was the Card 40 type. Now, I love this. It's different though, and this is, this is a much, from day one, this was a much uh, thinner consistency, and this baby right here is just everything. Mmm. I mean, before this, I was doing Burt's Bees and the Naked Bee, which I absolutely love. I love this product. Um, but the, my goodness, it doesn't last you very long. The bare lip, like I showed you my old one that I've had for a year, and then that, this new component, I prefer it in the in the plastic. Here's the St. John's Wort, like I said, I'm saving. For, you know, luckily, I, and I am on an antibiotic, I've not had need for that. Um, the hemp flower, Again, like the California poppy, this really is popping. I love this tincture. The mullein tincture was so important when I had COVID. Oh my goodness. Now this one I need to talk about because it's a rock star. This is the tallow black drawing salve. Now I get, you know when you get those hard pimples like on the side of your neck or on under your arm or whatever. And Or like today I stepped on a, a frame. I didn't get glass in my foot, but I got a piece of the wood stuck in my foot, just a little sliver. Um, this has charcoal, activated charcoal in it, and I've hit pan, but sometimes this is like the only thing I'll ever, if you need something to draw to a head, like if I get a zit, like the hard zits, I don't think she really talks about how well that is for that, but it, it also is great around your cuticles, if you have hangnails, um, it just pulls glass out, wood out, uh, splinters. Um... Her Wild Rose Coffee Bean is probably her most popular thing that like new people liked. This Elder Rose Serum, moisturizing, and it has rose, so it's it's tightening. And the burdock is so cooling. After a real hot day, you come in, you just use this serum, and it just cools your face down. Okay, so that's the products that I have and love. Uh, catnip tincture as well. And then if you don't mind, I'm going to just show you a few things that I've made myself that have absolutely all come from April teaching me how to do this so this is my little grab bag my stuff's in here this is my stuff that I've learned how to make through April first thing I'm grabbing is my rosemary tincture I decanted this on the December of 2021 wonderful I made my own rosemary tincture um, this is an arnica infused oil it's just my personal one that I keep in my living room because it's a great for pain it's great for it's and of course I only use avocado oil like she does um, oregano tincture very important right now with this antimicrobial anti antibacterial antiviral properties lemon balm I don't use too much of this because I do have a thyroid problem and it can repress my thyroid um, this was one of my first ever rose, and I look at the prettiness of it. My rose calendula skin healing salve, scars, and all the stuff, blemishes, blah, blah, blah. And totally, because of, you know, I watched her how to make a salve video, how to make a tincture. This one is my Arnica Lavender Pain Salve. Is my yarrow in here? Oh, yep. Now this is amazing. Um, the My yarrow salve, my first aid salve as I call it. So I'm actually gonna take a little bit of that and you can see how much I use it. My friend, there's a couple of friends that like this. Out of all my salves, the yarrow ones are the ones I like the most. Like I said, I don't sell these. I've tried, but no one in the Ohio Valley is interested. Um, made my own lip balm with avocado oil, shea butter. Um, I followed one of her recipes for this. Sometimes it's, it can get a little grainy when you put it on, but the heat just 
especially in this heat, it just goes away really quickly. And this calendula, I have some more stuff that I make, but this is kind of, this calendula infused oil has just really been, if it wasn't for April, I wouldn't know anything about it. It's just been, really been an ally and a friend and um, very moisturizing, very healing, very like all purpose, all spectrum kind of thing. And uh, yeah, so that's that. And her shop update's coming up soon. And I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited. I can't wait. I hope she really likes it when I start doing my He Is of the Woods. I'm only going to do one or two, I think. Because I think she is such a character. She's such a, like, uh, when, you, when you hear her voice or you see her, you immediately know. Uh, I mean, April Graham, what can, she is. I have to say she's the mother of dragons just because I love Game of Thrones and Daenerys Stormborn. So, I'm looking forward to the um, update, which will be one, two, three, four, four days from now, I believe. Four or three days. Three or four days. I'm not sure. It'll happen, you know. So, anyhow, that's that. And uh, I know this was sponsored, but I, I give five-star ratings on everything that I've shown. There's only been one product that I've ever not liked from April. And it was this old rollerball under eye serum. It would just get in my eye. No matter how low I took it, it would just get in my eyes and gunk up my eyes. So that's like my only one slander. And I and after like a year, I threw it away. So it's, it wasn't all love, <laughs> but everything else has been. Lots of love, love and light, pure delight, be uncouth, untamed, and unrestrained, everybody. All right, lots of love. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say that I really hope that we can get april to start making um color cosmetic not really color cosmetics i've bought a lot of natural for cosplay and and stuff uh, uh herbalists that make blushes out of clay and i think they use hydrosol and um germal plus as like a preservative but i think april should start uh, she had a uh clay mask and she said you could kind of use that as a blush as well. And I think I would love for April to move into blushes. I don't think there's too much FDA because, like I said, you can buy it online from so many other people. Um, I would like to see her take on it, though. And maybe a highlighter, you know, the mica powder and some nice herbal allies. And then another time I want to tell you guys how... Um, the uh, tallow has changed my life for the better. I love you all, and I can't wait, wait to see the update. I want the first aid kit. I've never had it, I want it. And um, so if I, depending on how much that is, it might be an afterpay situation with the, uh, I, the castor oil and the, um, for your lashes and the uh, rosemary hair you know i i need that <laughs> really bad oh yeah so tell all your friends what's going on and have them you know it's from what i understand it's a smaller shop update so uh i think things are gonna go fast so hopefully i can get what i want before everyone else gets what they want <laughs>